everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Rustic Waters with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we did the uh, ocean smithing, the engineer's workshop, and the chemist workshop. Uh, these are all blocks that we need to progress further into the pack. We will be using these quite a few times. Uh, along with them, we did do the quests that, you know, basically gets us some of the tools that we uh, need to use with the artisan uh, work tables. Not all of them, though. So keep an eye out there. If there's a recipe that's not working for you, make sure you double check the tool that you've got in there. It may not be uh, the right one because there are multiple tools for uh, these different stations. Now, the rest of this tab is fairly straightforward. There's not a lot of progression in this tab. Uh, we've got a bunch of sort of loose random quests and then one more uh, actual group of quests together here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the Solder Dearest and the Time to Kiln this episode, and then we'll do uh, probably these next three down here, and then we'll finish it off with the four uh, the following episode after that. And that'll be another tab done. That'll be really, really cool. So what we need to do for the Solder Dearest quest is to craft ourselves six solder wire. Uh, navigating JEI can prove to be challenging in a pack with this many custom recipes. Remember to check every tab at the top of the GUI before you come to the conclusion that you can't craft something with your current level of technology. Some recipes like molten solder are crafted directly in the bucket, so make sure to check that recipe when viewing JEI. So basically what they're talking about is if we click on this, we've got a couple of tabs up top here that are all the different ways we can, you know, come out with this uh, solution here. In this case, it's going to be one solder blend makes one solder wire. Uh, if we had a redstone furnace, it's the exact same recipe. If we had the alloy smelter, it's the exact same recipe. This is fairly, fairly simple, but if we go back into this one here, we see we need some pulverized lead, we need some pulverized tin. If we go back into that one there, actually that was a poor example. There we go. Because there's so many versions of the same thing, there can be very, very many different tabs. So if you're having trouble with a recipe, make sure you kind of play around and, you know, try to go through as many of the options as you can. You can see here, we've got like seven different options to make pulverized lead. Only one up here that's really, really viable for us right now is this grindstone. We made this grindstone two episodes ago. Super, super simple, super, super easy. Basically, it takes an ingot and turns it into pulverized lead. If we had the ore, we'd be able to double it. So if we go back to the solder wire, we can see that to make the solder wire, we need the solder blend. To make the solder blend, it is two lead to one tin dust or pulverized or whatever version you want to make in a chemist workshop with the aluminum breaker, no fluid necessary. Each one of these gets us two of the solder blend. So basically we are going to need a six lead and three tin, which I've got right here in the workbench. So there's our six lead, two tin, right next to our grindstone. We did this one up, uh, like I said, two episodes ago. We're gonna throw that in here, and then we're just gonna go and right click with an empty hand. One thing to keep in mind, you can try to automate this, but it will, unless you are very, very good with your redstone and stuff like that, um, there's a good chance you end up breaking the handle because if you leave it on something that's going to always, always, always do it, the second that uh, it's done grinding, you can't turn the handle anymore. Like right there, if I keep clicking on it, I'll end up breaking that handle. I demonstrated that when we built it. Uh, all you gotta do is build a new handle. It's not the end of the world, but I mean, it's kind of annoying when you're constantly breaking it. And I think it's mainly to keep people from, you know, automating this. This is, this is a early game solution. Later on, we'll be able to build uh, better machines that'll let us uh, do this a little bit better. But uh, as you can see, we've got our pulverized lead and our pulverized tin. We're going to go over to our chemist table and we're going to go and put three and three and then the three pulverized tin with the uh, artisan's uh, beaker. We made this one last time. Uh, no fluids necessary. We're going to shift click. There's our six solder blend. And then as we saw, all we're going to do is run it through a furnace. I'm, I've got a furnace right here. I could run it through my prismarine furnace uh, if I wanted to, but th this is just keeping everything nice and tidy. There's our six solder wire. We come back. We wait for the quest to complete. And it won't complete because this is a tricksy one. This is not one. This is not a obvious one uh, where you have to detect submit. In this case, this is a consumable one because the reward that they're going to give us is a melted solder bucket. 
Basically, this is the only use for this solder wire. You would take six solder wire and an empty bucket in an engineer's workshop with a solderer, and that would get you your bucket of melted solder or your melted solder bucket. Uh, what they're doing here is they're actually taking those six and they're making a, a bucket for us already. So uh, detect submit down at the bottom. You can see it's complete. We can go claim our reward back. And there you go. Quest complete now. If you get stuck, that's what you got to do. It is it's a little, not the most intuitive of ones, but we now have ourselves a melted solder bucket. Where we're going to use this the most is going to be in our engineering table as a liquid. I don't have a uh, space in here right now. I've got some purified water for our next quest. So I'm just going to go and put this aside and we'll remember about it a little bit later. Uh, next though, on our quest list is we're going to go and do the time to kill quest. The immersive engineering kiln will allow you to make alloys without having to combine ore dusts first. This is handy. That means we don't have to grind them into dusts uh, to bake them into ores. I don't think it does all of the alloys though. So you, you may have to go back and forth depending on what you're working on. It is not extremely fast, but it can be automated. Check JEI for recipes, place eight kiln bricks down in a two by two by two formation and hit it with the engineer's hammer. Engineer's hammer is the reward we get from this. We don't have to make it, uh, but I'll be honest with you. It's very simple. It is, I think just two, uh, wood, um, slabs and like two iron ingots. So nothing too difficult. If you got to craft it, uh, in your world, uh, have an abundance of leaves lying around. You can craft Bully's Brew using leaves and rocket squid drops. It seems like a really odd tip to have here until you go into the actual recipe and you realize you need some dry coral reef. Uh, the only way to get dry coral reef is to basically take some coral reef, which you get from the uh, bottom of your ocean there, and run it through a furnace. So I've gotten enough of the dry stuff already. We just need one more. And let's just go throw that through the furnace here and we'll dry it up. There you go, dry coral reef. As a, a demonstration there, we can go put it up into the blacksmith's workshop. To make the kiln bricks, we need five dry reef, four brick, 250 millibuckets of purified water. I've got four, I got a full bucket in here, which is gonna be perfect. It's gonna match up with the amount of resources we've got. And we need a different tool. We don't need the artisan iron pliers. We actually need the trowel. Simple to make though, it is two sticks and two, uh, resources that you want to make the trowel out of. I'm just going to make an iron one because we've got so much iron in our world right now. We'll click on that, take it out. Artisan's iron trowel. We'll go put it up into our workshop and now we get our kiln bricks there. So two plus two plus two plus two is the eight. We'll back up. I don't know I really have to back up. I like backing up so we can see the little thing there. I don't know. It's, it's kind of like a little thing that I do, but we open that up. Kiln bricks, eight complete, one engineer's hammer, claim, that's perfect. Now the engineer's hammer is another way of going about making um, these these dusts in that. So, you know, if you have the actual ore, you can make the dust though. Uh, you can't use the uh, ingots and, you know, the processed ores on it. Only if you've got the uh, actual ores uh, can you make that work. But we need it for a different use. We need it to make this kiln. And what I'm going to do is let's go build it over here. I got a little bit more. I've kind of moved a lot of stuff over there. And now I'm going to start, you know, building in here again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this one off the ground. Now you can automate it. Uh, hoppers will, you know, help you pull stuff in and out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it a one up above the ground. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is our two by two by two uh, structure. And then we're going to go right click on it. You can see we now got a kiln. So if we open this up, Basically, here's our little GUI here. We've got two inputs, we've got a fuel, and then we've got an output. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some invar. I I know I've got some invar requirements coming up, so it's kind of, might as well make some right now. So invar is two iron to one nickel. And actually, if we click on this little arrow, it shows all the different recipes we can do. So Constantin, we can do Electrum, we can do invars, which we're working on. Again, two iron to one nickel. Uh, we can do the bronze, which is, you know, the, the copper and the tin. And that's it. That's really all the alloys we can do in this, um, this kiln, but it's, you know, it, 
it is, you know, useful for us to, to be working on that. So mini charcoal in there, that will get us our uh, infar, which is really, really cool. Something that we will be using in the future. We won't really need it for, uh, you know, we don't need it for anything in this episode, but you know what? That's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal wolf also check out the description below there will be a link to my discord page i would love it if you guys stop by to say hi as well there'll be a link to my patreon page if you enjoy this channel if you enjoy this content you want to support stop by check it out there are a lot of great perks out there for uh, all of my supporters uh, one of which is the patreon only minecraft server we are playing all of the mods slice of pie 2 right now on that server it's been a lot of fun uh, as well i've been streaming on twitch uh, jackal wolf 77 I stream Tuesday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday nights. So if you feel like stopping by and checking me out, uh, that would be absolutely awesome. That is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.